It's time for replace surviving Mars. All right, so I'm gonna give this a shot. I I'm just looking for interesting games. This game kind of looks like a combination of um, Civ Beyond Earth and um, something like uh, City Skylines. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Let's take a look at these tutorials and see what it's all about. Okay. Welcome to Mars. Hints such as this one will appear throughout the training process, giving useful information on how to advance in your current tasks. You need to master the camera controls and familiarize yourself with the terrain around the prospective colony site. Now it's time to land your first rocket. I end rocket. I come. Where would that be? Marked with a green arrow. You know what? This seems kind of like Stellaris. A complicated little thing going. All right, maybe I can use it all the way up. There we go. The rockets... the landing site on Looks like a location. shark <laughs> coming out of the ground or an orca or something. <laughs> Definitely looks like an orca. Touchdown. The rocket has landed on Mars. Those are really cute looking. Alright, let's see here. They're just kind of chilling. Open the build menu. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh, okay. No. So I guess these are I powered can't. by the rocket or something. Right. Oh. Oh, okay. No, it can't be yellow. All right. So maybe we'll put it right there. Oh, I have. That's cute. Oh yeah. No, I had. How do you fall for? They look like they have little faces. <laughs> essential for the construction and maintenance of the colony. Initially, it's best okay. to designate a universal okay. depot. <laughs> drones have a <coughs> store. Right here. Okay. Along with metals, concrete is the other vital oh, basic yeah. construction resource. Drones will carry all the resources to the site and then construct the concrete extraction. Oh, another day. <laughs> wow. So there's a lot of setup involved before the game proper starts. It's as if, like, you had to dig the river or whatever before City Skylines get started. Well, looks like they got all the metal there is. Let's maybe speed things up a bit more. There we go. Hey, look at that. Uh, rocket shadows growing. Like most buildings, a concrete extractor needs power in order to operate. Having a reliable electrical grid and supply 
is essential for the success of the colony. Actually, no. <laughs> the Sterling generator read <laughs> extractor using a power cable from the build menu to power up the extractor. Oh, I did it! I finished! Is a byproduct of all extraction uh, and is best stored at Thomas, do you have no wait, Thomas, do you want to see you can ensure that it will not be in the way of future construction? <laughs> all right, so let's see, we need a waste site, a concrete depot. Okay, where are they getting concrete from? Or does it make sense to put it? Maybe I'll put it over next to the other depot. And we need a dumping site. I kind of want it like as far as I can, I guess, maybe. Drones will pick pending tasks on their own within the range of the drone controllers they are assigned to. <laughs> Alright, so now we need a drone hub. Oh, it says near the rocket, but I built it over here. Oh well. Drones run that have to be recharged. Alright, let's see. Do it, uh, recharge station. Over here, I thought, I think. Now we need. All right. There we go. Thomas, 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 he's going secret. Our metals deposit. Steady supply chain between Earth and Mars is essential, especially during the early colonization. Thomas, secret room, and he had some sort of book in here. So a moisture evaporator, and then a few of these. This is a complex simulator. All right, moisture evaporator. And then what else? Fuel refinery. We don't have My room. power for all the things in the colony. Where is that? No, that's a the pool. That's no one called his bedroom. I wonder if that's close enough or if I have to build another cable to it. A system of pipes is used to deliver resources such as water and air where they are needed. Uh, yeah. I made an elevator. That. Did I do it? Uh, I guess not. There we go. Wait, there's so many glass paint. I have like an extra piece that goes nowhere or something. There we go. Oh wait, no, Thomas, come over here. Okay. I'm already going as fast as I can go. What is? No up. My bathroom right here. Oh. That was pretty cool looking. Are you my map? It's my concrete extractor. Drone oh. hub. Moisture evaporator. Right in Noah's room. This is someone's bathroom. Audrey's Noah's bathroom. Somehow not have enough water or something? Or is it not connected correctly? I 
Where's my fuel? Fuel, fuel, fuel. Refueling. Okay, one more fuel it needs. <coughs> it's, it's actually pretty impressive how um, detailed how much you can zoom in and it's not like... I feel like that it's not... Looks really dirty now. <laughs> Alright. This tutorial one. Welcome, Commander. In this training exercise, you will get acquainted with one of your most valuable tools. Rovers. All right, so now we've got a pretty decent setup going on here. Look at this. Got solar panels. Depot. All right, so we got this dude. Slow. The RC transport can load and carry resources around the map. Let's use it. Oh, it's still here. Okay. Where's our fuel depot? There it is. Alright. There we go. Alright, let's go faster. Do -do 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 -do. I click on this dude. Got 30 now. Now head over there. Next to the rocket. Alexander is there. We go. <laughs> and these little drones come and they fill the rocket with the fuel. And he's thirty fuel this time. <laughs> There's tourists, exports, interesting. <laughs> <coughs> oh, raises dust causing it. See, I had a feeling that there was a... Uh, those things got a lot dirtier when it took off. It wasn't just my imagination. Oh yeah! Some drones are left without a controller after the rocket launch. The RC transport is able to gather resources directly from surface deposits without the help of drones. set up a small expand some distance away from the main base what is an expand all right all right transport route all right so we got him transport route And then over here. Nice work. Where is he? No, we're not in the hospital. Oh, the that looks so scary. Set it back down. There's a bunch of drones just sitting around.
Commander, one other thing. We need to construct a new sensor tower to scan the nearby environment. Good job. It's time to learn about scanning sectors and exploration. You can scan sectors of the map to discover new resources and anomalies. You can also queue sectors for scanning. Well done. Now it's time to use our fully operational RC Explorer to analyze the anomaly. Good job. I guess just like Civ, this is one of those games that's a little more boring in the beginning and then gets progressively more complex as time goes. Anomaly found. This is the research screen. From here, you can choose and queue text for research. Commander, one other thing. Nice work. Now you know how to handle rovers. Welcome, Commander. It looks like this forward base has gone through a major dust storm. First things first, let's remove some unnecessary structures. Let's get that drone hub operational.
Where the heck are my drones? Why aren't they building this? Alright, here they come to build it. Even with the wind turbine, there won't be enough electricity to power the base, especially during the night. to get things operational but this won't last as buildings require maintenance and we are out of resources transport to collect some metals and transport them back. Good job. However, we need more than just metals. Fortunately, we can call a resupply rocket from Earth. Let's do some cleaning up around the base while we wait for the rocket to arrive. See, so yeah, at least one little cute dude coming in to do it. <laughs> or these guys should be involved in that, but I guess not. Let's remove some of the unnecessary cables.
Okay, here we go. It's 34% of the way here, I guess. Alright. Meanwhile... Okay, so... Nighttime, so... No power here. Resources are low. Alright, the rocket's finally here. Let's see. Where they want me to put it. Looks like an okay spot, I guess. The supplies from Earth have arrived. Ah! And use them to expand the base. Look at them go. Grab all the resources. Alright, let's see here. So we need the accumulator. And they were also saying to make some more solar panels. Sorry, sorry. Alright, let's see. Oh, let's see if this is enough to do anything. Oops. Alright, so they're connected, they're connected. I'm not Fortunately, there is a water deposit nearby. Extractor, okay. ...to construct a water extractor near the water deposit. Then... This guy probably shouldn't be on top of the solar panel. There we go. Actually get out of there so you don't get hurt when he blasts off. Resources are low. The water extractor is ready, but we don't have a storage. Uh, actually, I don't want me. All right, so we need a water tower. The time has finally come to build the first dome that will house our colonists. Alright, so we need a basic doom. Apparently right where the freaking rocket is. Yeah, figured. What if I put it like right there? Alright, so what is this gonna need? 
It's concrete, metal, polymers. Alright, let's have him... Oh, he needs fuel, huh? Alright, let's see here. Do we have a fuel refinery? Here's a fuel refinery. Okay. Anyway, so what do I need to do again? I literally just did this tutorial and I already forgot. Alright, transported by doing it. Uh, okay. If I say... Oh, okay. It barely has any fuel stored anyways. Alright. What else might we need here? So this has concrete. Oh, okay, I guess we're okay. We have enough stuff. We get concrete over here. It looks like at least one of them is refueling in this now. Yeah, okay, so it's being refueled. I don't want it to take off before the dome is done, but... Dome is complete, but we have to supply it with water, water and oxygen before we can use it. Alright. Let's make a moxie. Put on this side over here. Meanwhile, we can do pipes. That'll give it some water. Then we can do a pipe here. Okay, and then the electricity. Need this to be built. Needs metals. A concrete over there. Metals. No, we're missing metals, right? So let's send this guy to go get metals. Maybe not. Maybe I just need to... Maybe we had enough. They're not connected to power? Okay, I think it is. We just don't have enough power, maybe? Oh no, we just haven't... Need more metals to build that. So, ah, here we go. There's the metals. Okay. 
All right, then I think we'll be okay. Still loading fuel. He's got 27. This need only four. All right, let's send you back then. Birds are loud. Seems like a dystopia. Well done. You have completed the simulation successfully. All right. I think that's pretty good for a start. So if I go to tutorial, it shows I've done those. I have two more to do. Um, we'll get to it uh, maybe tomorrow. So this has been Eric playing Surviving Mars. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.